very strong vision for my wedding. And sometimes it veers off from that vision. I'm just trying to get by. Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me here again at Dash of Wit. I'm Whitney, and here we talk about health, style, and all things bridal, of course. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, we talk, we've been talking a lot about the bridal gown and kind of what to bring to your appointment or what to look for, shape-wise, style-wise, all that. Um, but today is going to be just slightly different. As you can see, I'm not at the shop. I'm at home. And I kind of wanted just to share some of the tricks that I did, something that really helped me kind of stay focused on what my whole wedding vision was. It's really easy to get overwhelmed when it comes to planning your wedding. There's so many options out there and there's so many decisions that you have to make. And it's kind of like maybe you've always thought you knew what you wanted, but then, oh, you see something else and you're like, oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I love that too. Will that go with everything else? Well, I don't know about you, but for me, I am totally a vision, visual person. Like I need to see something visually um, in order to kind of understand it sometimes or make sure that I'm on the right track. I keep touching my nose. What I've done and what I'm wanting to share with you today is how to put together your own vision board for your wedding. This, I guarantee you, has helped me so much. I continuously refer back to it and update it as I've made decisions, um, like maybe the altar changed or maybe the chairs changed for the ceremony. There's so many things, so this has definitely kept me on track. So what I did is I broke it down into three categories. I broke it down into the ceremony, the reception, and then what my bridal party would look like, or what at least I had envisioned for them. Color-wise, style-wise, vibe-wise, all of that. And it has helped me so much. Now, definitely, I've kept an open mind. Things have come up, like a friend has told me about something, I'm like, oh, I really like that, or my mom's found this really cute basket for the flower girls that maybe I hadn't thought of before. Like, little decisions like that can get really overwhelming, but it, having an open mind to it is good. However, I just want to make sure that my overall vision is still the same and is intact. Baby so one of the first things I did was Devin and I sat down, my fiance, we sat down and really dissected what our priorities were. Like, what were the big things that we wanted to make sure happened? You know, was it going to be a family-style dinner? Was it going to be a food truck? Was it going to be even rectangular tables or circular tables? Like, we had a lot of different options, but kind of really honing in on maybe what the big things were kind of helped kind of um, bring down all the other details as well. When I'm scrolling through Pinterest, I'm making sure that I'm pinning things that I really love, and then going through Pinterest in the photos, what in those photos did I really love? Was it the colors? Was it a rectangular table? Was it the chairs that were at the table? So this kind of helped me hone in on starting to put together what my vision was for that day. I'm just trying to get by. So like I said, I had a really strong vision for what I wanted the like overall look of the wedding to look like. And so when we finally settled on our venue, I wanted to make sure that everything vision wise kind of fit into the space. Does the venue, does your venue have a pool that you're going to be having the reception around? Or does it have like a really amazing backdrop for the ceremony? What are those big key elements? that are part of your venue. So make sure you kind of keep those in mind for your vision board. Oh, and another key thing to think about when it comes to your venue, like what are the colors, like what are the natural colors in the space? Um, is it a garden wedding? Are there tons of beautiful, bright, vibrant colors everywhere? Or is it in the desert where there's like a lot of yuccas and agave plants, real succulents, like real desert and like real edgy bohemian? Or is it like a loft space where all of it's like very industrial with like very clean lines and beautiful like floor to ceiling white wall that you can maybe like hang greenery across or something like that. What are the key elements of your space? This will definitely help when it comes to putting together your vision board. Pick up the pieces left behind. So then once you are feeling really good about all of the pins that you've put into your Pinterest board, you're gonna have some favorites, right? Some real like key 
images that you just like really speak to you and you're like, yes, yes, yes. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to print those photos out. So print them out, cut them up, like cut all the like white papered edges off of it and so you just have the image. And then once they're all printed out, you're gonna separate them into categories. Now for me, my categories were ceremony, reception, and bridal party. So that way I made sure that each of those three things, each of the three categories definitely all went together, but it was a lot easier for me to kind of visually put them in a space um, kind of focused on ceremony. And then all of these elements were focused on reception. And then all of these things were focused on bridal party, like the color of the dresses and what the guys were wearing, all of that stuff. So breaking those up definitely helped, but making sure they all went together as well. And then started playing around with how each of the photos kind of fit together. So then I have the chuppah, you know, kind of like in the middle because that's like the focal point of this whole ceremony. So made sure that was there, found one that really had the flowers that I loved with it. Um, and then with chairs for the ceremony side and made sure that was on that board. Um, and then definitely some like little key decorative elements here and there. So um, even as you've made decisions, I think it's important to kind of even take a photo of it, print it out, put it in your vision, just to make sure that everything is continuously kind of keep coming back to that overall vision. It's gonna be really helpful. I know it's helped me, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I like, I'm so glad that I did this because, and I think I had some friends who thought I was crazy for doing it, but I guarantee you I just, I needed it. So I'm glad that I did it. it. I pull it out whenever I need it and it's there. There we go. And hopefully the overall, the whole day, the vision of the day will look exactly like I wanted it to. I fall back again. Another really cool thing about making a vision board is that you're probably going to get asked a lot of questions from your bridal party to your mom to your wedding planner. Having a vision board kind of visually shows everybody the answer to their question. So if they're like, well, what colors are you choosing? Then you can send them a picture of this vision board so they know exactly what you mean. They know exactly maybe what to be on the lookout for if you're like, I need help with invitations. Like, I really love these, but maybe something like it. Or, and it just helps visually give everybody a much better understanding of what it is that's in your head in terms of what you're thinking of visually for your wedding. So I really hope that this little kind of tip trick helps you. It definitely helped me. Like I can't even tell you how many times I've like referred back to my vision boards. I'm, it's been like a lifesaver. I love it so much. Um, and like I said, as things have changed, I've updated it and thankfully everything is kind of still on track. So if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And of course, please subscribe because I would love to keep, keep giving you guys lots of content, answering your questions. Speaking of questions, if you have any, please leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. I just want to kind of help everybody, help all you brides. You guys are amazing and I'm here to help. And I'll see you next Thursday for some more uh, bridal health style wedding stuff tips. Thanks so much. I'm just trying I mean what my bridal party is going to look like. I don't know how you do it. Edison. Baba. It's not LA cars, it's a cat. Three different poster boards and I can't even There's a cat bus. Edison!